Gil Dickman sofreu a perda de membros da família às mãos do Hamas. Na semana passada recebeu uma mensagem de alguém que dizia ser das Brigadas Kassam, o braço militar do grupo islamita. O texto diz, família, isto é uma mensagem de Al-Qassam. Al-Qassam é uma das unidades do Hamas. Carmel Gat, o nome do meu irmão, nós ofereceu ao governo um acordo, release todos os hostages zionistas para um, releasing todos os prisioneiros palestinianos. Uh, prisoners. And if you want to know the situation of all your hostages, just stay in touch with us and there's a link there. Gil não avançou com medo de que o telemóvel fosse pirateado. A prima foi raptada pelo Hamas a 7 de outubro, juntamente com a mulher de um outro primo. Também a tia foi assassinada. Um destino violento do qual ficou a par através de um vídeo em que imagens mostravam o corpo sem vida estendido no chão, perto de casa. I... Scrolled through videos on Telegram when I saw the video. She was handcuffed. They were walking her down the, down the streets of the kibbutz. And in another video, I saw her face to the ground, murdered. Yeah. It also took a lot of time until the IDF came. We still don't know why. We don't know what happened. And we, we kind of lost faith in all the, in all the world. I still can't believe it now, today. Well, there have been many reports this week saying the hostage negotiations are reaching a critical momentum, although this has been formally denied by the Israeli government, who say as soon as there is news, the families of those captured will be the first to know, and then the world will know. But meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to continue the intensification of the Israeli offensive in Gaza, where, as we know, thousands of people have been killed, thousands of children have been killed, and as former U.S. President Barack Obama has said, life is unbearable. Shona Murray, Euronews, Tel Aviv.